I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, the asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. What? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Now we have to see Frank all the way out here. my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just 
Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Papa Drew is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your... Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. 
Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. I... Finally, I believe you. I... I try. D Dude, she was scared all... Cool for now. We're only here to... Shit, you wouldn't have... Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter?! Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have... Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuse. You know, I'm not a to- Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. No, that's sh Just the names. Oh, he's- Listen- Yeah, yeah, everything. There's no t Yeah, yeah, well- Come on, Frank, this- Right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah. I- Finally. I- I- Dude, Shit, you wouldn't. Of course I do. I heard you. No, all right, it was. That's very. Maybe we can focus on. Yes. You and Chloe. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you. We don't have much. It's too late.
Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this... Thanks for hearing me. No, that's... Just the names. Oh, is that all? Yeah, yeah, every... There's no time for... Yeah, yeah, well... Come on, Frank. Right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you didn't... I... Finally, I... I... Dude, she... Shit, you would... Of course. No, alright. Uh, maybe we can... F yes. You and... Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in our kitty today. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset.
And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Freak is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this? There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's good that Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Those clues are not related. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I'm 
I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Okay, Max. Remember these names and... See how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? There's Nathan, dealing to the kids, right out in the open. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Who else was David tracking here? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was dropped. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Oh, 
Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. and you can't find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Not much out there. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. We're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn.
Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's brain bomb shelter boomed to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Chloe would make a great detective, too. There has to be more here than this crate. This tractor has paid its dues. Nothing here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Just rotting wood. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Lots of info here. It's Tom. 
Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. I'm hopping away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. strikes again. to see how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. Sesame. 
stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. What's with the press guns and creepy art? What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Son of a bitch. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Rachel, Kate, all these files. This place actually feels evil. I'm so sorry. 
I loved her so much! How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. Right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. 